Morning, 4.21am. Queensland time, which means it's 5.21 in Melbourne where I am at the moment. And that's where, I, and it's where I'm racing this morning, in Melbourne, the third Melbourne Marathon. Some of them done 30, some of them about to do 38 from 38, but I'm happy just to do 3 from 3. Uh, anyway, we're about to head off. Secured everything, which is good. Turn a few more lights, turn another light off. Got to make sure I've got the key in the right spot, otherwise it's a bit of an expensive fix. Because, because you know, I don't exactly want to have to pay, uh, annoy anyone to reopen the room just so I can get the key so I can just go. But, you know, but anyway, it happens. Just waiting for the lift. Bit of a slow lift this one. Bit of old school. Not as old school as that one in Adelaide that time as you might be aware of, but uh, it's just a very slow opening. About to get a semi guided tour of Melbourne at night. There we are. Alright, this little Burke Street. Which way do I want to go? Better off going this way because this way is probably going to get you to the start line quicker. Sun hasn't come up, won't come up till about 6 ish. Yeah, another 40 minutes away. Must be, uh. And it's not wet, it's a little like, looks to be a little overcast, but it's not wet, which is good, and don't think it's going to be wet today, which might be a good thing. That's oh, another flash joint. <laughs> Some pretty. So you'd be surprised to know the number of uh, accommodation options there are in these little lane, these little streets, you know. And it's the same with the uh, eating options, food options. I didn't utilise any, of course. I just had my own supermarket quality lasagna last night, as always. Anyway, might be, might get to run into a few. Others, it's an early start, but I think it's worth it. Let's keep heading down here. Head to head to Exhibition Street. In the past, you might have seen me go down places like Russell Street or Swanson Street or something like that, but this is Exhibition Street. As you can see, it's just a typical two lane street. past the ridges. I know there's a few people that are staying in here. So then we see some of this, some others getting ready right now, so got the strapping in the in the lobby. <laughs> They're getting ready to get going as well. It's an early start for me because I've got gear drop to worry about, I've got a routine to worry about. Some people will turn up probably at 6am and get through their routine quickly but you know the earlier I get there you know it means I'm there, I'm organized get into the routine, I can start listening to the tunes, I can uh, get the warm up done, last toilet break with plenty of time, get to the start line with plenty of time to spare. Anyway, better head across Burke Street, trans won't be running for a couple of hours. Again, just gotta be careful, just keep my wits about me. Last of the party goes, ready to go. Up there, well, that's the post building. I think I'm made for horse services up there. I'm gonna throw a brick in it. Not. <laughs> Not. I can't aim for it, it's too high up, I'm sure of it. Yeah, Jesus. Can't be going through a hook turn. Alright, straight across this road. In the past, I used to stop at a 7 Eleven on the way because I've got all my gear with me, don't I? I need to make a pit stop on the way in. I don't think I need. As you see, I'm staying in the city because, as you know, the start area in Melbourne is in the inner city. 
There are some races like Gold Coast Estate, it's, I mean, you get, you get the free public transport so you're able to stay a little further away from the race precinct which is near closer to the south port than the surfers. And I know next year that's, uh, I'll be starting at staying at surfers next year. An apartment there. Canberra's, Canberra's a bit different again because you've got to get a cab to the start line. It's very hard to get accommodation near where their start area is in the parliamentary zone. Heading up towards as you can hear, some of the clubs are still operating. They operate 24/7, but sounds things. We'll watch out for the glass. Up ahead's the metro. I'm sure there'll be people staying in there too. I know. Also, in terms of accommodation, there's a lot of people because the public transport here doesn't start at least at the moment for another few hours, and won't get to won't start full race start. A lot of people obviously uh, think that the night ride, late night night ride services getting too early. I used that last year. There'll be a lot of people on the roads today trying to find a car parking spot. And of course, there'll be no, of course, for those of you who uh, work watching this, they probably know this that uh, I always say that uh, work is the uh, car parks are the gold, are like a gold mine. Move on to the next street. We're at Collins Street now. Nina's doing his job. The old road sweeper. Down the hill is where we've got to go. We've got to go across the, across the road. We'll be able to show you a bit of the course, the, at least the first uh, few hundred metres of the course anyway. Almost got run over there by another guy who's going up the inside, he's cleaning the paths. Over there, that's where the department's just down there, Spring Street. Train station's just there, train station just down the roads. Actually, up for Parliament. <laughs> Won't surprise me with the crash barrier. The crash barriers will probably be put up around this area. Not on this street because the route, because the race doesn't go through the yak, through the towers as such. But you can see the road closure signs are already up, ready to go. Fellas are setting up the roadblocks and everything, make it nice and safe. Those roadblocks will probably be in place till about two o'clock. Just after two, or just before two even. So the night rider bus is heading and out of the city. There may be, there may, I'm sure that probably came in to the city eventually. Now we're about to hit part of the course. Now it's actually fairly early, so I'm not expecting too many people to be here at the moment. But and then there's another bus that I'm going to crawl in in the east. Down there. Here. So as you can see, they've already got the, some of the barriers up. So I'll be able to cross this bloody road. I'm, I think I'm think my best bet is to go across and across to that side. So that'll be close off because up that way, where we're around Pet Square, is where we start, and then the, the way back we come back and we go down this way. Yeah, right down that way, that line down there, in that general direction alongside along the tram lines. So I can cross the road, there we go. Hopefully none, hopefully none of these cars run me over. Plenty of bright lights. Whoop, there we go, bit of a warm up. <laughs> That's the tram lines. Damp in the street. Basically, come up from down there, and I'll show you in a moment. We come from up there, wind our way up, down that street down there, around this corner, and basically run in that direction, right to the right to the corner where the Flinders Street station is, and then run all the way down from there. 
So I mean, I can't tell. I can tell you from past experiences there'll be there'll be a bit of a stack up around this first corner because uh, everyone, as you know, they just want to they just want to get the uh, thing started right away. We've already got the barriers up, so might as well might as well uh, duck. The, just got to duck under here. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's not a it's not a sharp uphill. By really. any means, it's a little uphill. Uh, it's a nice little, just a nice little start. Trying to break the field up a little bit, I suppose. There'll be some people that'll be game enough to run on the tram tracks. I'm sure, trying to just find their own little space. But then, of course, as you know, they'll have to fold up into that first corner. At the end of it all, they head into there. You might see the old girl in the back on the hello turf. This year we do finish inside it. Last we didn't, it was being resurfaced for the cricket. You can hear the trams in the background. There'll still be some trams operating downstairs and around Melbourne Park or South Melbourne Park area during the during the events. I know when we go along St Kilda Road apparently there'll still be some operating there. Right, now there'll be some going over that footbridge. Apparently that's going in the minor events. But we'll show you the start line because we've got plenty of time. So they head up, so we head up this hill. And the start line we it's around this just around this corner somewhere. It's always a bit it's all I did mention about the uh, stack up at corner one. Well it's always gonna happen in this there's generally more competitors starting this event than any other marathon in the country. There are other bigger events that have more the more elite runners like Gold Coast and Sydney will have more elites because of because of the because of the status that they have and the time of the year that it is because this is a week after say it's often clashes with Chicago and Berlin and whatnot so we don't get the elite elites. As you can see, there's uh, there, you see course construction that will be ongoing for the next couple of next hour and a half. Up go the barrier. Down this hill. There'll be a good crowd. There'll be actually be on the start, there'll be a good crowd on that footbridge, I'm sure. Looking for a good vantage point. Most of them will some of them will uh, be in the shorter events, like the half. I wouldn't suspect too many 10Kers or 5.5k runners to be here that early because it's because they don't start until about 8ish or later. Not the overcast, but it doesn't look as though it's going to rain. Although I got the jacket open today, so it's not so. It doesn't look as though it's going to be overly cold. That's a good thing. See, so, yeah, these paths will probably be lined with people. There'll obviously be. A, you can tell going through here. It's already bikey swimming on through, so we'll just just uh, cut across here. Now, for once, I reckon there are going to be some people following me in rather than me following others in, but oh, I'm an old hand at this thing, you could see, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, go on this side of the road because it'd be easy, it's easy to get across. <clears throat> won't be any cars going down here anyway, so pretty safe. They close the roads early. About to head to the Melbourne Park Freezing. If we're around this corner, we should see a start line. Yep, I can see the start line in the distance. I'm not going to run to it. I mean, too early to be that. Too early to be doing that sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a charge of the light brigade. They'll be spread across the start. They'll be really spread. As you can see, this they'll be spread right across the road. I will probably be trying to start. Not on this side of the road, but the other side of the road, the side we were on, which is my left-hand side. So I'll probably be staying on that side of the road because it won't be so many. Be an easy, I think it will be easier to make the first corner rather than have to stay on this side and then try and wiggle, wiggle my way across at the tram tracks and find find and find a spot in. And there she is, there's where the start lines are.
Before we got some of the sponsors, sponsors like guys out. Be back in just a few moments as we make it. We'll make our way into Belge Bag Drop in just a few moments.